Hi guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have been running around like crazy. Um, I just actually came from the Warner Brothers lot. I went and did uh, some ADR, which is um, where we loop over our dialogue um, because there may have been like a noise in the background or, you know. So, hi! Um, are you guys excited to be, um, sorry, I'm just adjusting this. Are you guys excited? The show's back. Oh my gosh, it's been a long wait. Um, so I, I, I saw some of your questions, um, and I'm going to ask, answer them. Um, firstly, there's a big, uh, commotion about why the show's taking a big hiatus and, um, why we're only back for three episodes in January and is the show being cancelled and the show's not being cancelled we have an amazing audience we have really good numbers and we have 22 episodes which was ordered by Fox the reason we are taking a hiatus which is was sort of planned uh, for the season is we literally don't have enough time to finish all our episodes in post-production which means music and color and editing and getting it ready for you guys to see um, because we shoot and we air at the same time so there's that reason and also Fox has a bunch of new shows that they have to premiere so they would literally have to add a new day to the week in order to get their new programming out to see you know what shows are gonna be hits or or not and um, and to maintain the schedule for the shows that they cur currently have so don't worry the show's not being cancelled um this was the plan all along i know it's a long wait till may um but you have three awesome episodes in january and the rest of the season is so good and such so worth so worth the wait so um so don't worry about that um now before i get to your questions i also wanted to tell you about this t-shirt that i'm wearing um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it has a, an amazing Baha'i quote on it called, uh, the, sorry, that says, Where there is love, nothing is too much trouble, and there is always time. It's one of my favorite um, Baha'i quotes. This t shirt is available to purchase, and the 100% of the proceeds go towards uh, my friend's foundation, Justin Baldoni who you might know from Jane the Virgin, um, to his foundation, which will support a carnival that he runs every year called the Skid Row Carnival of Love. Now, what Justin does every year, which is amazing, is he uh, uses his birthday every year to go and set up this carnival for the residents of Skid Row. You know, people who are homeless, who have no family, who are on the streets and um he gives them a day off from their lives and it, it it comes together with people from all walks of life all walks of religions different races um and it's literally us as a community showing these people that we care and we love them um and i'm going to be there this year hopefully i wasn't able to be there last year because i was filming on lucifer um, but what I try and do every year is I focus a lot on like, women, so I put together little packs of little sanitary packs um, that has soap and you know tampons and pads and just things that women and young girls on the streets might need. Because if you think about it, what do you do when you're homeless and you need those things? So I posted a link to uh, on my Facebook page, which you can look at after we finish the live feed. And um, you can purchase the t-shirt, it's $25, 100% goes towards this carnival where we're gonna go and help people there. There's rock climbing walls for kids, there's food, there's a bunch of clothes donated, um, there's a foot washing station, there's animal grooming for their home, you know, because a lot of homeless people have pets who also need care. So, um, so it's an amazing event. And if you are in Los Angeles and you want to come and participate, you're welcome to do that too. The event is on uh, 
not next weekend, which is the, uh, not this weekend coming up, which is the following weekend. I think it's the 27th of January or 28th. Uh, just double check that. Um, but it's an amazing event, and um, and this T-shirt is pretty cool. So where there is love, nothing is too much trouble, and there is always time. And I think that's particularly in this uh, time in uh, the world. It's always a, it's a good quote to remember. Now to the important stuff, questions for me about Mays and the show. Uh, I'm looking at um, some of the questions I got and one of them was, what is my favorite part of, of playing uh, Maze? Um, where do I start? She's such a cool uh, female character. You know, when I first um, auditioned for the show and I was looking at the comic books for reference, um, I was really excited about playing this like really strong female, um, you know, character who had this amazing relationship with the devil, but had her own history with her mother and, you know, was a leader of an army. And I really, uh, I was really excited about um, getting a chance to kind of dive into, you know, what makes her tick. Um, but one of the things I love about being playing this character on the show is I'm one of the characters who gets to interact with almost every cast member um, which is pretty cool I have a history with the only one that we haven't really truly fully explored and I hope that we get to do this is Maze and Ella I mean we had a little bit of interaction when they first met in episode 4 of this season but um, but she has a history with each individual cast member you know and 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 the writers have been very smart about um, growing those relationships. So that's one of my favorite things about playing her. Um, excuse me, another question was, what are in the bottles um, on set? You know, when Lucifer and I are pouring drinks. It's just colored water, <laughs> um, or sometimes tea. Um, but for the most part, it's colored water. It's colored with sort of a brown liquid. Gross, huh? Um, Will there be more Trixie Maze and Lucifer scenes? Absolutely. There's some really good ones. Uh, there's one in particular coming up um, in episode, I think it's 218. Really good. So look out for that. Um, and then, oh, I'm looking at all your questions I can see. Uh, What's your favorite outfit when I play Maze? I don't really have, I mean, there's so many favorites, but I do work very closely with our costume designer. Um, for me, when, I, when I'm when i sort of delving into the life of a character, it, I, I go into all areas. And f for Maze, her outward appearance and her point of view on the, like her point of view on the world, she expresses through her wardrobe. And she sort of has this like, you know, badass, but also I don't really don't give a fuck sort of attitude. Um, so what we tried to do, particularly this season, is in the first season there was still a very sort of heavy, otherworldly kind of feel to her, like with the corsets and and you know, season two she's been a nurse longer and she has a job. She's a bounty hunter, so wouldn't be practical for her to be chasing down guys in like four inch heels. Um, so we added some cool boots and um, you know and. Uh, some denim and, and different jackets. So we try and Shanna, our costume designer and I, we sort of try and look at different episodes and then um, choose pieces that um, that work for, for that storyline. Um, one thing I was really excited about this season is that we got to um, get the um, the t-shirt from the comic book in, which is uh, Normal Consciousness Will Now Resume which will now be resumed, which is um, which is straight from the comic book, the white t-shirt you saw May's wearing where she sees Dan and, and Mom kissing for the first time. So that was something that I that I really wanted to bring in and I was very grateful the writers and, and our showrunners were on board with that. Um, where is my accent from? <laughs> I'm a little sick as you can hear, but I'm South African and I also lived in New Zealand for 12 years, so I've got a bit of a hybrid South African Kiwi accent. Yeah. Um, oh, another uh, question I saw was, um, what kind of training did I do for the show? 
Um, we work with a really awesome stunt team uh, in Vancouver and initially when we first started the show in season one, I trained uh, with uh, Diana Lee Inosanto and Ron Balicki, who are amazing martial arts gurus. Diana is actually the goddaughter of Bruce Lee, it's pretty cool, and she's a tough chick, so I learned from the best. and. Um, you know, we gave sort of a mini deal of fighting style and Lucifer a fighting style and then Maze had hers, which was a little bit more brute, um, which suits the character. So uh, usually we look at, you know, a fight will be designed and then um, and I will come in and I'll learn the fight. But what's cool is they allow me to come in and sort of tailor things that um, they look at what my ability is and um, they tailor they tailor fights uh, to make me look good basically <laughs> um, which is awesome Jill was I in Spartacus uh, yes I was in Spartacus I was in um, I was the original Navy in season one and I was also in Gods of the Arena um, okay I'm looking at your questions where in South Africa was I born? I was born in Cape Town, the mother city. The best city. Yeah, it is a cop, that's a Macy. Um, the, eyebrow, the eyebrow scar, is that for the show? Um, yes and no, it's my eyebrow scar, as you can see. Um, but, and I got that when I was like 15 years old. My little brother was playing with a mug and he threw it and it hit me in the face. Um, you know, for some characters I covered it up. For Navia and Spartacus, for example, we covered it up. For for Maze, I really wanted to keep it because her demon uh, face is on her left side anyway. And I thought it was just gave her like a cool edge. So, it's all me. Um, will the cast go back to hell in an episode of Lucifer this season? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> um. <coughs> oh, thank you. Um, and then I read lots of questions about, uh, oh, questions about uh, how my pregnancy is going. It's going really well. Um, so, you know, nothing's changed. It's not going to be written into the show. Um, it's important for me to keep maze as maze, you know, um, so uh, we're just going to find really fun, tricky ways to shoot me as I get bigger, but for now, you can barely tell I'm pregnant. Um, uh, in fact, I think in episode, uh, yeah, in episode 12, I am pregnant, so you, you don't know in, in the show, which is next week's, and, and, and in this episode about to air tonight, so, yeah. Um, are you happy about getting another season? Listen, we don't know if we have another season yet. You know, it's really up to you guys. So, you the fans, you uh, help keep us on the air. And so we need you guys to tune in every Monday when the show airs and to tell your friends and to give us a really good premiere night tonight and for the next three weeks. And then to, you know, give us a strong comeback when we come back in May. Um, we do very well for, for the network. Um, you know, we often uh, outdo our lead-in show, which is Gotham. But, I, you know, I love the guys in Gotham. I did an episode there. So, um, so it's really up to you guys. Keep watching. Tell your friends, um, your family. Make them. Tie them down to the TV and make them watch. <laughs> Um, is there, is, if there isn't another reason, Michelle, we'll see. Why is your accent so, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, sorry, I'm going through these questions now to see, uh, um, is it hard keeping the, the secrets from the show? before it is. No. 
no one can make me say anything I don't want to say guys like maze lives inside of me so that's not hard at all um, will Maze continue to strengthen her relationship with Trixie and Dr. Linda? Absolutely, these are two of her favorite human beings, you know, so uh, those relationships I think have really shown very different sides of a character that could easily be one note, you know, could just be a tough girl or a badass. Um, so those, those relationships are definitely being explored more, yes. Um, was Maze's real face a shock to you? No, it wasn't. Um, I think that's kind of the thing that made her really cool. Uh, I don't, it's all CGI when you see the half face, so, um, when we initially did a, uh, a test for it, um, we did prosthetic makeup. Um, but it, it's a faster process, um, and I, I think they can be a little bit more specific as CGI in it. Um, but if you've read the comic books, you'll know that, like, to the core of her, that's where Maze feels her most beautiful is when she's a demon. When she's in her full demon face. Um, okay, so I'm just scrolling down for some more questions. Hello from Brazil! Hi, guys! Um, what was my favorite scene to shoot? Um, this season so far, uh, I mean, I loved my, my stuff in uh, episode 7 with Dr. Linda. Um, I just really loved that storyline and, and I love working with Rachel, of course. Um, and then I had, I, had some, I have some really funny stuff actually coming up which is awesome, um, some really great stuff with Lauren, with Chloe, Maze and, Maze and, uh, and Chloe, um, so look out for that. One of the cool things I can tell you this season is, you know Maze is bisexual, she kind of swings wherever the wind blows and whatever she feels in the moment, so we do get to see a little bit of her bisexuality this season, which is awesome and great, it's one of the things I loved about the character and, you know, me, I'm a huge supporter of LGBTQ uh, rights. Um, so I love that I get to play a, a character that, you know, is bi. It's awesome. Um, will Maze and Dan get together? <laughs> um, no, that's my husband trying to tiptoe in the background. Um, Maze and Dan will have, will definitely have the, um, the moments, as you will see in tonight's episode, they have a very funny and unique relationship, um, so, but as far as romantically, no, she's gonna bust his balls, for sure, which is what she does best, right? Um... Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Just looking at these questions. Is there any trait you feel you have in common with Maze? I do. I have a lot in common with her. Um, I'm fiercely protective of people that I love and 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 people that I care about, be it strangers, causes, or uh, my family, of course, and my friends. So. Loyalty is a is a is a trait I share with her, um, and protectiveness for sure. Um, it's one of my favorite things about Maze, actually. Uh, who is the funniest actor on the show? Um, <laughs> on screen. They're all hilarious. I mean, I'd say, I'd say Rachel and uh, and Lauren are pretty are pretty funny on and off. Lauren especially. Lauren like <laughs> once they yell cut, she <laughs> will the things that will come out of Lauren's mouth. Let me tell you, I need to rinse that out with some holy water. Um, let I me mean, looking. How do you feel about a loose over? crossover with other DC shows. Um, I don't know about
about that. Uh, you know, Lucifer is sort of a Lucifer is a, a a a kind of a comic book that stands on its own. You know, it's very unique and um, and also from a timing perspective, Gotham is set you know in the past when Bruce Wayne was younger. Lucifer is set you know today. I mean, we bring up relevant issues and topics and. You know that's um it's modern day la so um i don't know about that and also you know we're very unique like uh, you know era is a very action you know straight comic book like you know sort of type show and we are not really we're we're a little bit of we have uh, these comic book characters that are awesome um and then we have a lot of humor and then we have a little procedural kind of aspect to it um, but then we have lots of drama, and then we have some action, so we don't really fit into a box necessarily. So I think we're pretty much, we're like a standalone sort of show in that respect. Um, will we meet Maze's mother? I don't know, I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure, that's a, that's a question for Joe Henderson and LD. Our showrunners actually um, above my pay grade. Uh, no, my pregnancy is not being written into the show at all, um, and I didn't want it to be. So we will keep Maze as is, which I like. Um, let's see. Oh, hello from Canada. If you had to choose two cast members to be with you on a deserted island, who would it be and why? Ooh, good question. Hmm. I'd say I choose Lauren for entertainment, pure entertainment value. I mean, I think she'd really be pretty useless at survival skills. You know what I mean? I love you, Lauren. But I don't see you scaling a, a coconut tree to feed us anytime soon. So, but, but she'll make me laugh, you know. She'll take my mind off the hunger and the dehydration and the missing of the family. So, so her. And then probably Kevin Alejandro for the other reason. Because Kevin is a Texas boy and he knows how to build shit, you know. So... And he's like, you know, good with his hands and yeah, so I think Lauren and, and Kevin, Dan and Chloe, yeah. Um, ha, 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 ha. I'm looking at all these questions. from Germany whoa and the Philippines hi guys wow uh, hello from Canberra Australia good day Tim McDonald how you doing mate what other accents do I do besides uh, American? I know a lot of people didn't think that I was foreign, which is so funny. In fact, funny story, when I did the pilot, um, so I went into my audition uh, for Lynn Weissman, who's our executive director and, uh, and our producers, and I went in fully American. I you know, had conversations with them. You know, it was just easier for me not to break uh, uh, my accent, and Lynn did not know that I, <laughs> that I was South African until I got on set, and I we rapped and I started speaking to him, and he's like, "You're not from me," and I'm like, "No, I'm not. I just kept it, you know, because it was easier for my brain not to switch." So that was pretty funny. But yes, uh, if you watch Spartacus, is um. I mean, I've always been good with accents, so it's uh, 
kind of my thing. I can do a British accent, yes. Um, <clears throat> trying to look through all these questions, you guys. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going through all of these. Well, Maze betrayed Louis Frank and Chloe. You know what? You always have to remember about Maze and Lucifer is even when you think she's betraying him, there's always a reason. <laughs> um It's your birthday, Jasmine. Happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome day. <clears throat> how did I, how did I, oh, this is a good question. How did I react when I got the part? Um, well, I have a funny story. So originally there was someone else that was cast as me. I t tested for the role and I had other opportunities. <clears throat> and then it didn't work out with the other actress. And about two weeks after I had tested, I got a call saying that they want you to, to, to do the show. And I was so happy, you know, when you're a foreigner and you come to the States and this is your dream and, you know, I was, I was really thrilled. I was very excited. But the happiest day <clears throat> was when our show I picked up the series and I was walking down the street to my coffee uh, shop and i got the call and i was going to get a hot i had to get out of the house because i was just so anxious and my husband was with me and and on my way to get coffee to get a hot chocolate i got the call that the show had been picked up to series and i think i <laughs> fell down like onto my knees on um on the street and it was like yes yes yeah, I was very excited. It's pretty awesome, you know. Um, all right. Oh, there's so many questions coming in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to scroll through them all here. Um, hello from Essex, UK. Thanks, Dan Crane. Um, will God show up? Maybe, but it won't be in the form that you think. So, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. So I'm saying, like, you know, we have these three episodes and then the, the back half of our show, show is, like, insane. It's so good. It's so good. Will Maze reveal her true self to Chloe? I don't know. You know, I mean, Linda knows about Maze and Lucifer. It's sort of an interesting question because, you know, we live together and how do we keep those kind of secrets from our roommates, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a writer's question as well. Um... But I think there's something, I think we're going to discover things about, somehow, Chloe, you know, things about Chloe that she's connected to our other worldly characters in a super sort of natural type of way, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Um, okay. I'm going to go. 
um, I just have to do a couple of things before uh, I have to tweet with you guys on the East Coast, you know? But um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's, it's always so, so much fun to talk to you guys live, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget about the t-shirt. Um, if you missed it in the beginning of my feed, this t-shirt, 100% of the proceeds from this t-shirt go towards an amazing cause that, that I'm participating in. Um, it is, uh, it's got an awesome Baha'i quote, where there is love, nothing is too much trouble, and there is always time. It's $25. I posted a link on my Facebook where you can purchase it. Um, and 100% of the proceeds are going to go to feeding uh, the homeless of Skid Row. So it's a worthy cause. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys, as always, for watching the show. Um, we love making the show for you. You're the best fans ever. And um, enjoy tonight. Maze gets to be an air hostess. One way ticket to hell. Um, yeah, enjoy the show, guys. Thanks so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.